Capuchin TV. Ni barakan toka kwa mungu. Weli, weli, ni marana. Weli, ni barana toka kwa mungu. Weli, weli, ni marana. Endelea kutazama. Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Journey to Sainthood The Life and Times of the Servant of God Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga with Asasha Elizabeth He was a true disciple of Jesus Christ who served people with a deep faith and love for all a humble priest, a compassionate shepherd, living to Kenya and to the whole world, an example of a true model of sanctity for all. This is very true about uh, the words engraved on the memorial hall of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga. And right here where we are is where his remains are preserved in uh, his memorial chapel right here at the Resurrection Garden in Nairobi Archdiocese. And uh, today on Journey to Sainthood, the very first episode that we bring you in preparation for the 20th anniversary since uh, the servant of God went to be the Lord who sent him to us himself, we are bringing you these discussions that are of importance. So with me here, I have a family member and I also have a, a team representative of the Central Committee of uh, the Beatification Process of the Servant of God. I will allow them to introduce themselves and what they do before we proceed. I'll start with the gentleman. Yeah, my name is CPA John Simiu. I am a managing partner at uh, Leoba Springs Consulting a Farm that provides for tax audit and tax advisor services. Thank you very much for creating time for this. Uh, just to kindly tell the viewer, how do you relate to the late servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga? I'm a grandson to him because uh, he was a brother to my paternal grandfather. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming, for joining us. And uh, we have a lady also representing the Central Committee. Please introduce yourself. Thank you for this. My name is Flora Chepkoe Chinabuli Lobulela. I'm a wife, a mother of seven, a grandmother of one, and a nurse for the past 33 years. I still practice nursing as a part-time nurse at Strathmore University. Yes. All right, so how do you relate to the servant of God kindly? Were you among the lucky ones who managed to interact with him before his departure? You realize my names are Chep Koech. So my mother is from Kericho. My dad is from Kakamega. So we, we grew up hearing the name of the servant of God, Cardinal Maurice Otunga, in the home because he is the one who confirmed our mother, my mother, Pauline Chepkori Shinabuli, and her confirmation name is Lucy. This morning I've just had to talk to her and she was very excited about this. So that is the first interaction we had of uh, the servant of God, Cardinal Maurice Otunga, and of course then growing up in the Catholic Church, the hierarchy, you feel proud that he was our bishop, our cardinal then. I've told you I'm a nurse, so at Mata Hospital, where I worked for about 10 years, it is, um, 
it's uh, it's very humbling and uh, a bit of a surprise because I wasn't even supposed to be on duty and I wasn't working in the ICU HDU by then. So I was called in to come and cover for somebody. And guess what? It is the servant of God that I nursed that night. Wow. Yes, and bathed him. Quite intriguing. That might have been God's doing for you to cover up for someone and uh, you end up nursing the very shepherd who confirmed your mother, the very shepherd who was the first archbishop in our country and uh, ascended to be the very first cardinal at a time when uh, racial discrimination was still rife. Back to you, Mr. Simeu. At what stage did you have a, a close relationship with the late servant of God? And at what stage of life did you realize uh, his level of eminence that he commanded as the first leader of the Catholic Church in Kenya? Cardinal Tunga was a household name in our family. Because uh, having been a first bishop, cardinal, he really had a lot of influence in our family back home. But at personal level, when I was in college, and at that time he was Archbishop of Nairobi, is when we started contact because I wrote him a letter and he wrote back. And again from there now we exchanged letters. And, uh, until when now I was going to get married, I was, going to, I was marrying, then I visited Nyumba Yawaze in Ruaraka with the lady who I married for blessing. And I think from there onwards, we developed a personal relationship because now we made it part of our our practice every last Saturday of the month will visit Nyumba Yawaze in Waraka. We sit with him at the veranda and we laugh. He will tell us you get married and take care of this girl. And we were all always laughing and him encouraging us to, to, to be responsible uh, uh, parents. And until we were notified that he got in sick, still we visited him at Mata Hospital several times. So he has remained part of us. Even in death, we still celebrate him. Thank you very much, Mr. Then. Simiyu. Back to you. Um, how does it feel like being part of this important cause? Because we, there is a, a whole entire team that has been working towards the beatification uh, of process of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga, and you are part of the Central Committee, right? Yes. Again, I, I state my, my sentiments with a story. I, when, and after nursing the Cardinal at Mata Hospital, after now when he died, I really wanted to participate in his uh, celebration you know, like take a reading, take a bidding prayer, being in the Catholic Church. But you know what goes around when yeah, a big person dies yeah, during such a whatever. So I missed out on that. I remember at Nyayo Stadium, we were many of us there and many people from Mata Hospital, of course. Yeah, so a few of his anniversaries, then, you know, I, I continued attending the, the first few. I think the first two or three. How now I came to be here and I feel again it's, it's quite humbling and just by really luck, I came here for the last one. And Sister Esther at the altar, the podium after mass, just said, if they need volunteers. They need volunteers to help in this. Because Bishop Agnola, the Archbishop again of Nairobi, comes from my land at home. I was, so I was eager, I wanted to greet him. 
and just that he blesses me. So as we stood there, just taking a photo just around here, I asked sister, what does it entail to join a committee? I feel this urge that I want to volunteer. My time, my prayer, uh, you'll teach me what does it entail. And I thought I was joking. It wasn't a joke. We exchanged numbers with sister. And that's how I am here. I have, st a sto I have many stories. So I don't know where this is leading me to. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Now, what is your obligation as a team member uh, in the steering committee of this process? We've just joined, we were just called two weeks ago, uh, written for letters, invited the archbishop needed to meet us again, and we were given the background of it. The main one that I can pick from there is this 20th uh, celebration, the anniversary, that now we it's the, the thing, the next event that we really have to take care of. But we said now in the next meeting, because that one was just a kind of introduction and whatever, we may actually need to break up into small subcommittees. But I'll be willing to help anywhere that I'm needed. Thank you very much, Shinabuli. All right. To you, John Simiyu, um, could you please share with us, uh, as a family member, 